I love the DPRK song, No Motherland Without You, very much. I sang it at Pro DPRK meetings and other occasions. I love it because it reflects my face and will to reveal endlessly and uphold Marshal Kim Jong-il. I'm often asked why I, as a Spanish, love the song so much. And I reply, it's because it reflects my face. It's my full will to be a loyal soldier of Marshal Kim Jong-il. I've come to know him since I learned about the Chichi idea. I'm living in Barcelona, Spain. In the late 1980s, I heard from a social activist that the DPRK is a hairy country that defeated the U.S. imperialism and motherland of a great Chichi idea, the guiding idea of the times. He gave me the famous work of Kim Jong-il under Chichi idea. In his work, Kim Jong-il clarified that the Chichi idea raised the man-centered fundamental problem of philosophy and the philosophical principle that man is master of everything and decides everything. Moreover, he illumined the social historical principle that the popular masses are the master of history and the human history is the history of the struggle of the masses for independence. He presented a new illustration that man is master of his own destiny and independence is the life of a country and nation. My university life helped me to have broader insight and made me certain that the Jutsi idea is really a great revolutionary doctrine as well as the truth. Admiring its scientific discovery and philosophical profoundness and greatness, I pulled over several other works of Kim Jong-il. Each of them is encyclopedic. The height of a great man is that of his philosophy and idea. Kim Jong-il developed and enriched the Jichi idea authored by President Kim Il-sung, said he forces the guiding idea of the era and gives perfect answers to the questions arising in the revolution in construction. He's really a great thinker and theoretician and philosopher ever known in the world. Deeply attracted by his greatness as a genius of ideology and theory, I became his follower. Witness in the DPRK U.S. showdown, I felt more certain of his greatness. When the U.S. Bush administration kicked up another nuclear row and went mad over the anti-DPRK pressure, the DPRK declared that it leaves the NPT completely and will meet out severe punishment on those who violate its dignity. I know well that it never says empty words. The fate of the U.S. spyship Pebola proves it. Each time I visit the DPRK, I look around the ship. Pebola was captured in the 1960s by the Korean People's Army Navy while committing espionage in the territorial waters of the DPRK. And now it is fixed as a chained dock by the River Dedong, where the U.S. Paris boat General Sherman was burnt down in 1886. The spectacle seems to indict the U.S. as a historical aggressor and declare that those who offend Korea will never be tolerated. The DPRK neither tolerates those who infringe upon its dignity nor fears any formidable enemy. Valuing independence is just the materialization of Jichi idea. 
the DPRK safeguards its dignity against the U.S., which even big powers dare not challenge. Such bravery and power are ensured by the Jutia-oriented Sangun leadership of Marshal Kim Jong-il. Even in Spain, it is how that a U.S. helicopter was brought down by an ordinary KP-7 one shot several years ago, and a U.S. spy plane was chased out of the DPRK sky by the KPA fighters some time ago. These are telling stories that demonstrate the peerless bravery and power of the KPA. Such a powerful army has grown up under the care of Kim Jong-il. The world people say that an advanced army armed with irresistible striking force has been brought up along the road of incessant and side guidance of Kim Jong-il. So if the U.S. invades North Korea, it will not escape from the destiny of a tiger mouth jump to fire. The rich Char is famous due to his repeated mounting. I don't think it is simply a legion that once he passes the rich, a fortress soldier in the front line, and once he draws an arrow on an operational map, the enemy's position bursts into flames. The Sun politics of Marshal Kim Jong-il is the most righteous politics for smashing the U.S. move to stifle the DPRK. It brought about the single-hearted unity more powerful than the nuke and the strong armed force able to annihilate the U.S. aggressors. Kim Jong-il is really the prominent statesman and ever victorious brilliant commander. I remember what the French defense minister said to the military officials several years ago. Marshal Kim Jong-il is the most brilliant commander in the world. His exact in judgment, resolute in decision, and merciless in strike. That's true. The U.S. aggressors dare not provoke a war against the DPRK, scared by the respected Marshal Kim Jong-il. Really, he is the destiny of Korea and defender of peace. Charmed by his greatness and motivated by worship for him, peoples of the world present gifts to him. I also made a gift to him. It is a ceramic workmanship depicting the diary who defeated the evil in the ancient Spanish legion. The gift contains my worship for Kim Jong-il, who keeps the U.S. aggressors under his control. There is no such a leader as Kim Jong-il in the world who received so many gifts and moreover who donated them all to the people as their wealth and possession. Kim Jong-il is indeed the greatest noble virtue. He is attractive all the more. Kim Jong-il is the greatest of a great man in terms of wisdom, courage, leadership, virtue and exploits. The more I understand his greatness, the greater become my fascination and respect for him. I'd been to the Kim il sung and Kim Jong-il Education Hall and attended a meeting for creating the son of the 21st century. I felt keen that it is so reasonable that the Kim Jong-il named after the marshal has been bred up to glorify his greatness and people revere him as the son of the 21st century. 
They cannot be discrimination of a nation and country in revering a great man. To follow the peerless great man is a choice of one's face and where I am. So I resolved to be a fairly old soldier of Kim Jong-il. Soldier of Kim Jong-il. In order to glorify the title and fulfill my duty as a soldier, I formed the Korean Friendship Association. The association includes thousands of members of a different social strata and conducts colorful friendship and solidarity activities on various occasions. Besides, I formulated a pro-DPRK website on Internet in keeping with my job as an Internet expert. The website introduces various materials on politics, society, culture, and history of Korea. Readers of my website number more than 20 million around the world. Recently, I created a Kim Il Sung and Kim Jong Il e Library homepage and input materials on the greatness of the three generals of Mount Baek Do and their works. It is the most urgent task of the times to uphold Kim Jong-il, the greatest leader of the world, and the aspiration of mankind to follow him. It is also a noble trait of the new century to follow his example. A soldier should follow his leader, not only in idea, but also in dressing. I have uh, several clothes fenced by North Koreans, and one of them is a jumper. I have it made because Kim Jong-il likes to wear it, calling it people's dress or a combat uniform. My warm reverence for him made me even model my dressing on his. I proudly attend international meetings and always external activities wearing it. I have a dress uniform of the Korean People's Army too, which I have tailored from my admiration for the Sangun politics. In case of a war, I will stand in the front line to defend Kim Jong-il wearing it. These clothes make me have the deep consciousness of a soldier. Today, the situation in the Korean Peninsula is extremely strained due to the anti-DPRK moves of the U.S. imperialists, unaware what a soldier should do in this situation. I participated in the Pyongyang International Meeting for Ensuring Peace in the Korean Peninsula to denounce the anti-DPRK move of the U.S. I took part in the march, chanting anti us slogans, and in a solidarity meeting to read out an appeal calling for a struggle to frustrate the U.S. aggressive move. It is my greatest task to safeguard Kim Jong-il. I will review and follow Marshal Kim Jong-il to the end, bearing deep in mind the honor of his soldier. It is the foremost task of his soldier is to safeguard him. If the U.S. imperialists provoke a war, I will come to the Korean front to defend Kim Jong-il with a gun in my hand. There are many countries and leaders in the world. However, there is no such a leader as Kim Jong-il, who established great exploits with outstanding leadership. Korea and the world exist thanks to Kim Jong-il. That's why I love the song, No Motherland Without You. Indeed, it is the glory of the century and greatest fortune of mankind to have Marshal Kim Jong-il. Soldier of Kim Jong-il, there is no greater honor than this. But it bears not only an honor, but also the task to fulfill the duty befitting his soldier. As his loyal soldier in Spain, I will devote myself to upholding Marshal Kim Jong-il.